Welcome back to the Kilted Texan, and today I'm going to be installing the split bolt uh, in my dryer area because uh, I got a couple of electric vehicles and um, I want to be able to run my dryer and all that good stuff and have a nice easy time of switching back and forth. So what this does is this hooks up to your existing dryer port and it allows you to have both your dryer hooked up and your EV your EVSE uh, charging, your, your car charging. Now I've got kind of a special deal going right now where I actually, for my EV, I have a NEMA 1450 plug, which is what this plug is. And I have two GM chargers, two GM factory chargers, the ones that, you know, plug into the wall, but they will run on 220 volt. So what I've got is I have a NEMA 1450, hooked up to a regular plug that runs 220 volts to the GM charger and I have two of them and they run at uh, 12 amps each so they'll run a max of 24 amps which is what this is listed as max of 24 amp so this will hook to my dryer and when the dryer is running it'll turn this one off and this one when the dryer is off this one will go ahead and charge my cars so that way I don't have to keep plugging and unplugging and all that good stuff. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and let's see how she works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and we're gonna mark the holes here and we're gonna get this plugged in and uh, get her on the wall. Now what I normally like to do is I like to take a piece of paper and I like to uh, mark the paper with the holes and then put it on the deal and then drill the holes through it. And we want to match these drywall anchors. So we make sure that this sticks here pretty good. So uh, I'm going to grab a piece of paper and we're going to get this marked up. Um, either that, let's see. I think probably just get her marked nice and easy. And this is a pretty heavy dude. But yeah, that's about where we're going to want it. Um, we're going to want to try to make sure that it's at least square to this and here. So that it doesn't look all cattywampus. But uh, tell you what, we'll go get a sheet of paper to make sure that that looks all right. Okay, now that we've got a sheet of paper, what we're going to do... I'm going to turn her over and just to make sure that we're kind of lined up and look at that she is too wide for that son of a motherless goat well i think we're going to have to be a little bit more creative here guys huh. all right i'm going to get another sheet of paper and we're going to tape them together all right so we took a piece of paper we added it on here. We got them pretty straight. So what we're going to do, we're going to mark these holes. So we got our holes set up. Now, what we'll do is we'll take that and we will mark it on here. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of room for that cable to drop down and get that up on the wall. Okay, so we're going to put this up on the wall. <laughs> and uh, watch it rip the paper, because that's always fun. 
Okay. That sure doesn't look straight to me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get my drill and we need to match up these concrete anchors, or these concrete anchors, these uh, drywall anchors to a drill bit. We'll see where she fits. It's pretty close, but not quite there. We don't want to go too big. That'd probably be all right. So, get these anchors in here. Okay, now that the anchors are in, let's switch over to a uh, another bit. switch over to a Phillips head and we'll see about getting this thing hung up here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So now the way that we hook this up is we'll crank that off. I'm probably gonna have to get my cutters or something. I don't know if my fingers have enough strength to break that one. But uh, tell you what, let's break that here real quick and we'll get her plugged in. All right, so got this little plastic cover here. We'll pull that off. Get this kind of down here. This again, as I described, is my two GM chargers that are running at 240 volts with only 12 amps. So that stays within our 24 amp limit. So what I'll do, actually we probably need to plug this in first. So we'll get that plugged in. We'll kind of run this wire a little bit. Make it a little less obtrusive. This one. This one is a uh, a level two charger. But then this we'll plug into our EV. And then this is our actual dryer. And let's see. All 
All right. So we are right now charging EVs. Now because we are charging EVs at 245 volts or six kilowatt total, um, that's charging both my, uh, my ID4 and my Cadillac. So both of those are going right now. So what do we do if we do this? The EV shuts off and the dryer kicks in. So now it's no longer pushing to the EVs, it's pushing to the dryer. And that's what we want. Now, see, the dryer's off, EV is back on, and she is happy as a clam. And I just heard the Cadillac uh, ding saying that she is charging. So that is all she wrote and all I need. So now that you've seen how to do the split bolt, if you want one of these, I got mine off of Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want it. No big strange, you can search it, split bolt. Uh, make sure that your plugs are what you have. But other than that, uh, keep the rubber side down. Remember, happy wife, happy life. It's a pretty strong argument for that right there. But uh, if you're looking to get one of these, go to Amazon. I think you can get them for other retailers too. Doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I will say that if you're looking for more of this kind of content, subscribe for more. And if you're going to crash, crash into that like button. And we'll see you on the next one.